Good morning, Lee Naylor off Grid Installer. Here I am in Joss Van Dyke doing a solar assessment for this uh, luxurious villa. Uh, looking back towards Tortola and the British Virgin Islands. Uh, yeah, we're on Joss Van Dyke right now, amazing view. You can see that you've got roof space here. Um, and yeah, we're looking at doing an off grid system for this property. Right. Anyway. Hello, I'm Captain Colin from Joss Van Dyke Scuba and BVI Eco Tours on the island of Joss Van Dyke in the British Virgin Islands. Um, here on the island of Joost van Dijk, we have a population of 300 people. We're one of 60 some odd British Virgin Islands. Joost van Dijk is one of the smaller islands. And we have the scuba diving business over here. We also do the day sails, water taxis, island trips, snorkel trips, kayak and stand up paddleboard tours, and we're farmers as well. We have a, an orchard here with 240 fruit trees and uh, almost thousand guava berry trees as well. All of our sailboats have always had renewable energy, so we're into that, of course. But the kicker for us was we're so far, if you look around, we don't have any neighbors. Uh, we're on a hillside. We had, to, we had to carve our own road to get up here from the main bottom. And because of that, there's no electricity on this hill. So the government wanted $45,000 to get uh, poles up and transformers so they could give us a bill every month. And when I heard the $45,000 price, it was a no-brainer that I wanted an off-grid solar system. So we called up off-grid installers, and our friend Lee, who's also a scuba diver, came down, gave us a visit, and um, yeah, he set us up with an incredible system. Good morning, so here's the office. Um, beautiful views. All the equipment's got to go in that cupboard, in that cupboard, and all the panels are going on the roof up here. The installation has started. Um, there's the inverter. That's an auto transformer to give the American split phase system. Uh, the two solar controllers, and there will be eight batteries. We haven't put the other two in yet. All right, so here we are um, at the power station itself. And uh, we went with the best, you know, the best charge controllers and the energy system we have here is Victron. This is a, a 10,000 watt, 48 volt, 140 amp inverter and charger. We've got an auto transformer as well over here. It's running off 240. And then we have uh, some smart solar charge controllers. These are awesome. This one is 250 volts and it's working uh, 10 panels up on the roof. This is 100 volts and it's working the four panels that are on that slanted aluminum frame. Then over here, we've got our distributors, our isolators, and um, yeah, it's a 48 volt system, which is awesome. And uh, you know, the biggest kicker for me, and one of the reasons I went with off-grid was because of these batteries. These are the batteries that I wanted. I've been looking for three years to get a solar system while we were building this house after the hurricane. And um, these are the batteries that I wanted. They're magnificent 48 volt, ply on tech, these are the US 3000 C's. They're all 48 volts each. Uh, they're run in a series. And, you know, I guess we've got 24 kilowatt hours here in these batteries, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Usable, yeah. Yeah. So um, it's amazing. This morning, we we just went through a tropical storm while we were doing the installation. And, uh, you know, we pulled the batteries out of the boxes about a week ago. They were sitting at like 40 40%. 40 um, in total and uh lee went ahead and he hooked up the house before we even had the solar panels hooked up we brought them down to 20 percent, and then the tropical storm came so we lost all sun for three days and we've uh run the batteries down this morning they were at 10 percent when i woke up at seven in the morning they were already at 15 percent. now it's 2 30 in the afternoon and they're at 85 maybe even 90 percent just with the 14 panels that we have on top so these are wonderful batteries, and one of the great things about batteries like this, obviously it's a smart battery, and Leak can give a lot more explanation than I can, but they talk to themselves, they lift each other up, they keep it even, and most importantly, you can run them down very, very low. They're not uh, damaged like our typical 12-volt batteries and most water or gel batteries are where you can't take them very low, and these you can, and they're magnificent. You know, they're guaranteed for 10 years, and uh, we're, we're hoping to get 
many more years than that off of these batteries. So, um, another good good th uh, thing about the Victron system is if uh, Colin wants to expand on the power system itself, we can add new solar arrays by adding more smart solar controllers. Um, so Colin's already looking at another location where he can add some more solar panels. We've got some spare bays in the Lynx distributors right here where you've got your mega fuses uh, for obviously all your individual devices, your inverter, your solar controllers and your batteries. If I just turn the shoulder the other way, here's the little brain of the unit. This is the servo. Okay, so this communicates with everything, but more importantly, um, Colin's got Wi-Fi here on the property that's connected directly to the uh, DigiCell tower. So uh, wherever Colin is, or wherever I am, our off-grid installer, we can remotely access your system. So if there's any alarms or anything like that, we're straight on the case and we can log in remotely and um, keep an eye on your systems. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, just being able to flip your phone open and see exactly what's happening in the history. I mean, it might take me a class or a YouTube video to learn how to use that app. It's so, so much information, it's amazing. And on the battery side, um, obviously we've got two strings of four here. So the, uh, this bank of batteries is wired up with a positive and a negative that go back to the battery bank. And the same on these four. The advantage of these type of batteries are we can move them up. You can see we can get in a third block if uh, Colin wishes to add more batteries, which I believe he does. Hello, doggy. Um, and we can also stack them higher as well. So I think we'd have to remove the light here, but I'm sure we could get another two in in height on each stack. So maximum possible here, another six plus four another 10 batteries on top of eight. So that's 18 batteries. So that would have some serious, serious storage power. Anyway, really enjoyed doing the job. Colin's a great guy and um, what an amazing location to do an off-grid system. I'm really lucky and uh, thanks for following me, guys. All right, welcome to Jos van Dijk Scuba on the beach in Jos van Dijk. This is our road, it's all sand. And come on into the shop and check it out. All right, guys, welcome to the shop here. We're, um, we have the largest gift shop on the island. We do all our own original artwork here, as well as the designs and all the clothing. We carry top brands like Corksicle. These are all original designs for women's clothing. It's got some beautiful men's things here. We have 160 different sticker designs that we've done, all the islands of the British Virgin Islands. Lots of really hip women's clothing as well. We carry SunCloud, SunBum sunscreens, we're the dealers for Costa Del Mar, the largest dealer in the British Virgin Islands, Costa Del Mar sunglasses. Gecko dry bags. We're big into pelagic. We're sport fishermen, so pelagic sport fishing gear, hoodies. Really nice clothing. Board shorts as well. Carry CBD. These are our original t-shirt designs. All of these t-shirt designs are originals, and uh, they're back here. Some of our classics, little mermaid action. We have them with the British Virgin Islands and Neos Van Dyke on them. We have some different cosmetics, pharmacy items, a lot of CBD products as well that we sell here. This is our fishing wall. We supply all the local fishermen with fishing gear, everything from rods and reels to, um, to baits and lures, tackle. We're, we're dealers for Cressy Sub from Italy as well as Sherwood Scuba. So we sell Sherwood Scuba gear mass fins and snorkels and yeah this is our gig this is the shop yo Van Dyke scuba hope you get here we want to see you soon bbi love so we're back here yo Van Dyke, and got my good friend blues come on my main man helped me blues. yes they helped me, <laughs> <laughs> they helped me build this house and uh you know the great thing about this off-grid installation is it's so simple you know lee shows up just to supervise tell us what goes where you know, he was able to literally, I would say, did the full installation of all of those solar panels, never having done it before, but being a construction person in a couple of days. It's mounted up, it's firm, I mean, you can't lift it up. We just had a tropical storm, didn't even move them. 
but um, but that's what that's what it's all about. So tell us, please, what what was your involvement on the project, my, my brother? My name is Blues. Yeah, I do the um, construction part, lining up, putting everything square up. You understand? Know nice walking along with Lee, installing panels, installing batteries. You know, it's a good experience for me. First time doing this, but you know, my brain is you know for now and after come so. Good experience and I hope in the future that you get more job around the BVI, you understand? And they hire me also. So <laughs> yeah. big up, big up Colin. Yeah. yeah. My name is Blues. Alright. Respect man, respect. Love. Love. Yeah. Uh, cheers. Yeah. Uh, Thanks guys. Yeah, man. Here we are, the British Virgin Islands. Um off-grid installers just overseen an installation. We've got four panels here, giving you around 1,400 watts. <clears throat> and then on the roof, we've got two strings of five. So three and two, so that's one string wired together. And a second string of five over here. Um, and south over there. And that's looking back towards Tortola and the British Virgin Islands. That's little Joss Van Dyke. <clears throat> Hi guys, yeah, really, uh, really good challenging project for off grid installation. You can see we're in quite an isolated remote area of the Caribbean. Um, it takes two flights to get here. Um, we're here at the start of the year, did a little video then. We've installed 14 solar panels for virtually south facing and then on the pyramid roof we've got two strings of five solar panels um, Mr Captain Colin has been a extremely good host and uh, yeah I've really enjoyed the project it's been a lot of fun and now we got power Fantastic. off the grid so we'll now go downstairs uh, yeah, we'll, uh, 